Alright guys, so in this video we will be talking about Akram, right, as we swing, how Akram changes, and then why we don't want Akram, and how we would get rid of Akram. Not just that, I'm going to talk about my caster at lock, and how my setup would be a little different to your setup, and so forth. That's why I don't make a setup sheet. If you just follow the basic rules, you can make your own setup with your own driving style at your own track. So in the previous video we spoke about the KPI which we have removed by putting these DIB knuckles on. Um, on this specific chassis you'll see there's no you know, caster adjustment. We can't move the tops forward or back. We can move a little bit on the bottom which I will do but at full lock trying to get that full flat contact patch you will have to add a lot of camber which will give you the flat contact patch and it looks pretty gangster if you're driving straight anyway stay tuned I'm going to show you from the top how the acrum could be a problem and how we would get rid of that problem alright so I'll show you here real quick on the motion of the servo if you look at the servo if I turn it real slow you'll see how the one wheel is turned way more than the leading wheel which is a really really bad thing see the leading wheel trail wheel bad so if I take these two sticks and I go to full lock with a servo and if I put it on there nicely which it won't stay there nicely but anyway if you look at the sticks you see how much this one's way more than this one and eventually these lines will cross each other which is a bad thing right we want both of them to be equal so it flows better and rolls better there's no one stopping the other one one scrubbing more than the other one so the way we'll do that is we'll change the toe by adjusting this here making this guy shorter which in turn will tow it out which in turn will give us better equal throw if you can see that if I hold it like that it's way better throw see right we want them to travel equally alrighty alright so obviously when we adjust Acrum we're not just adjusting it for full lock we're not just getting it for this we're trying to get it equal all the way from neutral to full lock the whole motion both ways needs to be equal that way there's no pinch or bind or anything stopping each other and then that way your front won't stop and your back won't go by so now you guys will see I can almost drive at full lock track I just need to do a couple of more little bit of small toe at full arc and then at the motion right if you look and then on my rear I have already changed the rear toe which I'll show you guys how to do it's super easy super cheap all right guys so just to recap on what's been done in this video I spoke to you guys about the acrum when you're going through the full motion of from neutral to lock how acrum needs to be the same 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 both ways not like weird this one turns more than that one or vice versa um, then I spoke to you about caster 
and camber. So the caster is not really adjustable on this chassis. I think there's some new mods coming out that you can. I'm not sure. This specific out of the box chassis, there's no caster adjustment except for on the bottom there's two little small little shims. You can move some of it. The way I adjust the caster is at lock, I try to get the wheel flat. But now because we can't adjust caster, I had to bring the tops in on camber so at lock, the tops are brought in, it gives me a flat contact patch, right. So, beyond that, camber, caster, they work together on the front end. Try and get at lock a flat contact patch on both wheels. So if I'm turning to my right, the right wheel, flat contact patch, the following wheel will obviously be leaned in and vice versa, left to right, right. So, next video. I am going to do a tool special on how I have all these small little tools and what I use them for and shock dyno and so forth and so on and so on. Then I also want to talk to you guys about ride height, front to back ride height. Then I will talk to you guys about how I did the toe in the rear and the camber in the rear. And yeah, pretty much stay tuned and... Let's see what happens next.